from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, I'm Caitlin Nuclo. Here are your top stories on this Saturday, June 24th. This morning, Hartford police are investigating a homicide that happened just before 3 o'clock this morning. We're told officers got reports of sh shots being fired and then they showed up on the scene on Zion Street. A 33-year-old man, Emilio Camacho, went to the hospital where he later died. In Bloomfield, several people are still on the run after an armed robbery early yesterday morning. Police tell us three suspects wearing masks robbed someone at gunpoint, pistol whipped them, and then fired shots at a building. When police got there, they stopped a car that was driving away and detained the driver but did not find the other suspects. No word yet if that driver will be charged. In Meriden, police have arrested a third suspect for a street takeover that damaged a police cruiser back in May. Police say 22-year-old Jared Weimer was caught on camera jumping on the hood of the cruiser. It all happened back on May 6th at the Lowe's parking lot on East Main Street. Two others involved were also arrested and are facing charges. All right, if you're heading out this Saturday, make sure you keep that umbrella handy. We do have that Travelers Championship going on, and we should see the bulk of this precipitation before noon. But this afternoon, we could still see some showers, some isolated showers, and some isolated downpours, maybe even a couple isolated thunderstorms. So temperatures topping out in the low 80s, the upper 70s, uh, foggy start out there. And then tonight, we bottom out in the upper 60s in a lot of spots, but it will continue to feel very muggy out there, too, mostly cloudy skies through the overnight hours. We really do need the rain. Actually, our drought monitor shows us abnormally dry conditions for the entire state. So future cash showing once again, most of that rain passing by the afternoon, but we still will see some showers passing through. We might even see some sunshine this afternoon, though, so it, conditions will definitely improve for tomorrow. Clouds stick around. They kind of stay put. We see a couple showers in the morning and then maybe some more isolated downpours in the afternoon, specifically for western Connecticut. The seven day forecast shows a lot of unsettled weather for the week ahead. So possibly some relief from those drought conditions, temperatures in the low 80s, upper 70s and Monday, Tuesday specifically. That's when we could expect to see some heavier rainfall, maybe even still Wednesday as well. We'll keep you posted.